What's up, Space Pirates? This is your captain, the ever-charming Dr. Disaster. And today, we have to talk about the absolute lack of creativity from the bozos at Lucasfilm. Apparently, they just can't create new characters. Their only play is to bring back old ones who are supposed to be dead. No one's ever really gone. Word just came down the pipe that another dead character is being resurrected, and in this video we are going to discuss this and what it means for Star Wars, because we all know the real reason that the people at Disney can't let old popular characters go, especially the old popular characters from the George Lucas era of Star Wars. They want to milk these popular characters for as much merchandising money as possible. Story be damned, because dead characters can't be in new scenes that inspire new merchandise. Somehow Palpatine returned. <laughs> no one's ever really gone. I'm a simple man making his way through the galaxy. No one's ever really gone. No one's ever really gone. Fennec? You have a keen ear, Mando. No one's ever really gone. No one's ever really gone. Merchandising! Merchandising! Where the real money from the movie is made! Alright me hearties, we are going to dig into this news of the day that Asajj Ventress is coming back for the Bad Batch, but before we do, make sure to hit that like button which really helps me with the algorithm, and don't forget to follow me on Twitter, my handle there is Dr. Disaster one In any event, let's look at this article from The Direct whose headline says, Star Wars Bad Batch Season 3's Asajj Ventress Return Explained by Producer Somehow, Asajj Ventress has returned for Star Wars The Bad Batch Season 3 on Disney+, Plus, confirming what Star Wars fans long suspected. Yes, we suspect at all times that the idiots at Lucasfilm will bring back dead characters constantly because they have a bit of a track record for that, don't they? That is the danger of bringing characters back in this manner all the time. Consequences go out the door and people become numb to what ought to be important moments. But I digress. The article continues, A reoccurring villain from Star Wars The Clone Wars, Asajj Ventress was a former Knight Sister and Count Dooku's Sith apprentice who progressively redeemed herself and ultimately sacrificed her life in 2015's Star Wars The Dark Disciple. So why is the Bad Batch bringing in Ventress and isn't she supposed to be dead? No one's ever really gone. Merchandising! Merchandising! The biggest surprise from the Season 3 trailer of Star Wars The Bad Batch has to be the presence of the Clone Wars villainous Asajj Ventress sporting a new outfit, a head of hair, and wielding two yellow-bladed lightsabers. How can anyone be surprised by now that a female character in Star Wars has a butch haircut and is prominently featured? 
By now, it can't even be surprising that she's not dead. No one is ever really dead. That is the philosophy of Star Wars, and it's one of many reasons why people are completely apathetic about the franchise. That, and of course, the attitude that the bozos at Lucasfilm display toward these characters. Just check out the explanation for why she's back. You are going to love this. As for why the former Sith has returned for the animated show's final season, director and producer Brad Rao shared with Star Wars that they've wanted to tell more stories about Asajj Ventress. Quote, We love Asajj Ventress. She's a character that we've been wanting to tell more stories about. The absolute lack of creativity and storytelling capability is on full display here, folks. You brought her back because you like her, and because a lot of fans like her. Well, la-di-da. It's like these morons never watched Pet Cemetery. Let your loved ones go, for the love of all things holy, or they will come back and haunt your ass. And honestly, that's what's happened in Star Wars. The old characters haunt Star Wars. New ones can never fully blossom because the people at Lucasfilm lack creativity and cannot tell an original story. They either have to copy older plots or they have to graft older characters onto a story in order to have fans connect with what they've got going on. That is why you fail. There are no consequences in Disney Star Wars. Nothing matters, so we don't care. We don't watch. But I will say this as an aside. We shouldn't stop caring completely about Star Wars. I was thinking about this the other day. I know I talk all the time about Star Wars being dead. But I had this revelation. We can't celebrate the death of the franchise. Because I think that might have always been the point. These woke invaders are like parasites. They hollow something like Star Wars out, wear it like a skin suit, and the institution is either under their control, which gives them power to infiltrate more institutions, or the institution dies, which they're fine with. They were always on board with it. That was always the plan. These people are trying to divide us. They want to destroy that which binds us. Think of Star Wars as something like the Force. It's something that connects us, which binds us, and they are trying to rip that away from us. I don't know about you, but I don't want Star Wars to die as a cultural force. I want Disney Star Wars to die. George Lucas Star Wars can live on. So it is important that we remain apathetic to Disney Star Wars so that we can let it fail. But we have to be ready and willing to let someone new come in and take over when the time comes. When someone who is willing to put story first ascends to the top of Lucasfilm, we need to be ready to embrace it. So, keep on mocking these people, keep on being apathetic toward Disney releases, but we have to continue to be excited about the cultural beast that is Star Wars, which lies at the heart of what has been corrupted. That is the only way to win a culture war, which I personally have every intention of doing. I will be spreading this message more often, so stay tuned and keep the faith, Space Pirates. Thanks for watching me, Hardies. If you haven't already, your captain is inviting you to subscribe to the channel and become a part of the crew. Life as a space pirate may not be glamorous, but there's always plenty of booty.